I never met Fanny Waterman, but I wish I had had the privilege. As a figure in British music history, she had established a reputation which was well deserved. Those of us particularly aware of her legacy include pianists, piano teachers, music educators and the thousands of people who attend the Leeds International Piano Competition since its first uh, competition in 1963 and of course many other people, uh, the residents of Leeds and the Yorkshire for example. The city of Leeds lowered its flags to half-mast as an, an initial way of honouring her. She died aged 100 in December 2020. In the 1950s, she began to realise that her true vocation was piano teaching. And this took up more and more of her time. In her teaching, she believed that, quote, learning to become a craftsman, a musician, and then becoming an artist was one way to describe the journey of learning. My first encounter with her work was through piano teaching resources such as uh, books like Me and My Piano, Piano Progress, books one and two, Piano Lessons with Fanny Waterman and Marian Harwood, and her small book called On Piano Teaching and Performing. I've come to appreciate this book more now after 30 years of teaching. As a teacher, I work with keyboard pupils. That's five, oct five octave keyboards such as Yamahas and Casios. I'd be interested to know what she thought of that. I suspect her opinion would have changed as the years uh, progressed and she realised that uh, it was an introduction to people, uh, giving it a shot and then after three or four years graduating to a, an actual piano. Piano competitions have had a rather mixed reputation over the years and not everyone is in favour of them. However, when approached with common sense and balance, they definitely have their place. Fanny began the Leeds International Piano Competition with Marion Harwood in 1961. The list of distinguished winners and the runners-up is a long list of Radu Lupu and Murray Pariah to name just two. Personally, as a teacher, I've discovered that some pupils simply need a goal, an event like an exam, a festival or a competition. However, I wonder if Fanny would agree that something has been gradually happening in the UK over the last 50 years. Pupils and parents are simply not as willing to enter for these, be uh, an, whether an exam, a festival or a competition. Not as willing as they were, say, 40 or 50 years ago. Local festivals have slowly been dying and actually disappearing for years now, for example in South Lancashire. Exams, yes, are still around and alive, but competitions, not so much. That's my experience as a teacher and this is a shame. And that's one reason why I celebrate the Leeds International Piano Competition. So thank you, Fanny, for that. She had many supporters and colleagues and one of the closest was, of course, Marion Stein, Countess of Harwood whose own life was just as fascinating. Marion was a joint co-founder with Fanny in 1961 of the Leeds uh, Piano Competition. Fanny also worked, of course, with many other people, such as Benjamin Britten and many others over the years. So this is a very short tribute. It's almost just a taster. But I know that others, much better qualified than me, are filling in the gaps of the life and the work and the legacy of the remarkable Fanny Waterman. <laughs>